So I wasn't initially going to make a video on the Travis Scott Astroworld Fest situation and the main reason was is because I just didn't feel like there was a ton to say at the time. And when this news first came out that eight people had died, it was just kind of like, to me, it was just a, oh wow, um, this went really south really fast. But it, I didn't really notice anything. I was just like, oh, Travis Scott should have been informed. He's That's not his fault. This is just a poor management. It's a tragedy. It's awful. But there's no blame to be made. But as more information came out, the more I thought about it all yesterday, the more it's been discussed. I like felt like I had actually a lot to say on it. And considering I am a hip hop fan and uh, I have him in the corner of my room right there, I'm like, okay, maybe I should talk about it. Um, if you don't, I don't know how the hell you wouldn't know, but uh, if you don't know the other day, uh, Travis Scott put on his huge festival, Astro World Festival. Um, this was a yearly occurrence. I don't think it happened last year, but it's 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 frequent. You know, he does this a lot, and uh, not a lot, but like since Astro World. Um, and this year, uh, on the opening day, uh, this massive concert of 50,000 people in Houston, uh, by the end of the concert, eight people had died. Um, now, it's not uncommon to hear about somebody breaking their leg, passing out. That's not uncommon for anything of a concert, unless a hip-hop concert, unless a Travis Scott concert. Um, but eight people dying is a whole other story. And hearing that there are possibly hundreds of people injured is just way too far. Like, And hearing all the reports of people basically saying that the concert was a living hell... Um, the more things came out, the more it hit, okay, something's wrong here. Somebody messed up really badly. Um, I, I, cause there's like two aspects. So I see this cause there's one where I'm like, uh, does Travis Scott, is he really responsible for the people in his audience? His actions, because I mean, they, they're independent thinking people, you know, they don't have to be so wild, but we're not going to pretend like Travis Scott gave a fuck about the safety of the people there. Um, and it's it's obvious. He's never really has. Um, he did stop the show for somebody passed out like once, and then he continued to do it. Um, he continued to rage, continued to tell people, go crazy and all this stuff. And it's not even like weird behavior for him. He's done it many times in the past where he's not just He's not, it's not like Cardi where he just makes crazy music that makes people really get excited. Not even really Cardi's music's that crazy, just people find it crazy and they'll go crazy for it. Um, it's not even like that. It's just like um, fans of Travis just like went crazy and it's like he kind of promoted it because back in 2015, you know, he he's multiple points. People have gotten injured in his audience and he doesn't really care. It's not a, um, he's an awful person for that. It's just a, you're a irresponsible person considering the effect you have on 50,000 people. Let's also talk about the fact that this might not have happened if this wasn't such a god-awfully handled show. Nothing about the handling of Astro World Festival was done well at all. They had a very underpaid, very bad, like really un, like just, I don't know how to describe it, just undereducated, unaware security team. There was very little care to where the security was. People were breaking down fences and Nobody was stopping them, not because those security guards are bad at their job, but because there are so little of them and there are hundreds of fans there. And by the concert, there's 50,000 people in that audience. An audience that shouldn't even have 50,000 people because they're in the venue it's in. There's no reason that the security guard, like, they, there's no way they would have been able to handle this situation anyway. Um, so I don't really blame the security guards for it because they were even trying to. They were trying to rush paramedics to the audience. And... People just did not give a single fuck. It's kind of insane, like, the fact that this is accomplished, like, this happened. Like, eight people died. And, like, how, how do you let that happen? Like, as running a festival, how do you have such an unawareness of your audience, the size of your audience, and how crazy it's going to get? Um, and then this happens, and then you're like, oh, it's such an accident. Like... It's, I'm not even targeting Travis Scott here. I'm targeting his entire team because these are not solo decisions by him. He has a big say in it, sure, but these are not solo decisions by him. There's an entire team of people that are running this festival. And it's arguable that they probably should have taken way better precautions in the beginning of it. Um, there's even the fact that this wasn't meant to have 50,000 people. This is not a venue that's supposed to have 50,000. On top of that, Travis even snuck people in. He tried to go over the limit of people just to make it a more crazy concert. I understand the mentality of wanting to have a really fun concert, but now that eight people are dead, it turns an eye to the fact that you really did just want a crazy audience. And he always does. He always wants to have these insanely massive crazy audiences and that's not the problem the problem is is that you don't have a careness for when people are hurt now in my opinion there is a segment it's like well 
if you do go to one of these concerts, you it is your responsibility to kind of research and think, oh, okay, this person's going to be dangerous. It's going to be really bad here. The fan base is crazy. There's all these things like that. But no, that, that doesn't justify the fact that you didn't stop the concert. Like, there is the fact that maybe he wasn't aware, but he was fully aware that there was paramedics or fully aware that people were passing out. I don't think he knew people were dead because I don't believe Travis Scott is as shitty of a human being and as much as a sociopath to hear the fact of there are people dead in the audience right now. Um, and then you just think, oh, let's let's keep performing. Like, if he knew somebody died, I have no doubt in my mind he would have stopped the show. I don't think he knew that, though. I'm pretty sure what he would have thought was people passed out. He stopped the first time. It's very ugly. Well, the second time, he's like, ah, who cares? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I want to perform right now. Um, it's just a very irrational move on the spot that could have been could have prevented a lot of bad things going down. Now, do I think Travis Scott deserves to be canceled? No, I'm still gonna listen to Utopia. I'm still gonna listen to his music because I'm not the type of person to do that. And I don't think Travis Scott is just, it's not It's not the same thing as he's been doing something with his money wrong, or it's just generally speaking, we found he's a shitty human being. No, it's just the lapse in judgment there. In my opinion, it's just a very bad, honest mistake um, on his part. It's not a, because because people are saying he does not care about the lives of those people. That You have to be very dumb and very blindsided to think Travis does not care about these people because when things actually went down this day two was done before Travis even before there was any controversy over it before anything had blown up he had, was done they canceled day two very quickly um so obviously there's a side of him that's probably like oh my god eight people died we cannot keep doing this this is bad um so it's not a care of I don't care that people are dying and I want to perform it's more of a like, I don't care if people are hurt. I want to keep performing. It's it's just, it's, it's interesting to me how to analyze it because you can look at it as Travis Scott really messed up with a lapse of judgment and just did not, like, analyze the situation well. But you can also look at it as, um, like, you also look at it like, um, did he know what was really going on? I don't think you can argue he had no idea what was going on, but there is the fact that artists on stage aren't always aware of what the audience is doing and what's going on. And if there are 50,000 people there, he's very, it's very understandable if he didn't know what was going on. The biggest thing of the situation is like any big situation like this, people are going to blow up angry at one person like the artist um, without really knowing the entire story. We don't really know. There's a the fact that there possibly could have been drugs involved, which initially people thought it was a cover-up story, but a uh, police chief even came out to say that drugs were being distributed, which, yeah, it's understandable. Like, that's a very good cause for people dying, but he still didn't stop the show when people were hurt. Who cares if there were drugs involved? He didn't stop the show. He didn't really analyze, like, okay, there's a serious safety issue here. We need to shut things off. I mean, I, at first I thought it was kind of a cover-up. I was first like, really? You really think drugs are being passed out? But let's try and break it down. Travis Scott hasn't tried to blame another person for this yet. Like, especially the fact that the police chief said this. So this isn't, this isn't a, um, and I know things with the police, they're not always trustworthy. But at the same time, if you do analyze the situation, there's no reason they would want to protect Travis here. Um, and it's not even really protecting him anyway, because the criticism isn't you killed eight people the criticism is you didn't stop the show when people were hurt if you genuinely think travis scott was aware people were dead while he was performing you are not analyzing the situation well at all and you're not really thinking of it past god i hate that celebrity because celebrity because we live in a culture now where if a celebrity does something that can be conceived as wrong there you can't you can't support them anymore it's it's the definition of the toxicness of cancel culture and why it doesn't really work i don't believe travis deserves to be canceled for this i do believe that you could oh kanye is doing a sunday service cool um you can't analyze the situation and think uh so just directly at travis because there's a whole team behind it. there's a ton of things behind it. you you can even like even if you really want to involve travis maybe involve drake too because drake also was like make an earthquake in the audience i'm not saying it's drake's fault it's really really at the end of the day the blame is not on one person the blame is at someone because this is someone's concert when you have fifty thousand people you can argue that you are handling fifty thousand people right now and don't be so irrational and stupid with the way you're handling that concert um Biggest thing I think is it's just, it's a classic situation of people are going to jump in too quickly to criticize one person because, trust me, I know this, it's a lot easier to get mad as a celebrity than at a team you don't know. It's a lot easier to get mad at Travis Scott than Travis Scott's team. And let's, can we stop talking about Kylie Jenner right now? Because this woman had nothing to do with a single thing that just happened. Don't say fuck Kylie Jenner. Don't even bring her up. She has nothing to do with this. There is an article by, I think, People Magazine that's literally just 
Kylie Jenner is safe after eight people die at AstroFest. Who cares? Like that genuinely was a statement to me that was just basically you saying, well, eight people died there, but at least our billionaire is safe. Like, fuck you. Like, those people's lives do not matter any less than Kylie's just because she's some model. That is such a fucked up way to think. And it's it's the way magazines think, but bring up Kylie in any scenario, even because I even saw a tweet that said, fuck Kylie Jenner. Like, what the, what was she supposed to do? She's not running the concert. She's just dating the guy who's doing it. That This is not her responsibility. I don't know why you'd blame Kylie and not Travis. If you're going to blame someone in that realm, don't blame either of them because it's not really solely their fault. But blame Travis any day over Kylie. Just don't even bring up Kylie. It's so weird. I mean, that's going to happen because people look at a situation and they think, well, celebrities, you know, oh, let's criticize a celebrity here. But like, the celebrity is not the focus here. The focus here is the eight people. And you, it's clear this magazine, you're not going to be fuck about those people. Like CNN is always going to milk this to death because there's news updates coming out. Oh yes, a great situation. These magazines cannot give less of a fuck about the lives of these people. And that's sick to me. I've criticized magazines in the media before for this mentality of just, oh, really big situation. Let's cash in on it. Things like COVID, things like uh, George Floyd, these situations where these, these media outlets don't give a fuck. They just can report on it for a month and you will watch everything they do because you trust them. Um, biggest thing I'll say is it's, it's, it's a really fucked up situation. And I don't think there's a taking side things. I don't think we need to fight over it. I think what we need to recognize is an honest mistake was made and artists just absolutely need to be more careful with what their audiences are doing. Um, like be careful of what your fans are listening to because you have an insane amount of power over that person. They came, spent hundreds of dollars just to watch you. You have complete power over them over this scenario. And you might think, well, there's so rational means, but like, Fuck that for a second. If Travis Scott said, let's go crazy, go punch the person next to you, absolutely would they have done it. They wouldn't, without hesitation, they did it. Because Travis Scott, God, Travis Scott said it. So I think artists just need to be more aware of the how their control over the audience. Um, and there's somebody like Cardi, who's actually done this very well. Um, at Lollapalooza, if you've ever seen the clip, um, when he found out people are passing out, he stops music and he says, I need everybody to take one step backwards. We, I care about you guys' safety. That is what artists should be doing. If you see people are being hurt, cut the fucking music and make sure that person is gained the safety. I'm not saying cancel the show if someone's passed out because there are hundreds of people in there who paid a lot of money and probably came a long way to see you. So keep performing. That's that's what you're there for. That's what people paid for. So keep performing. Um, when somebody's passed out, make sure they're okay and make sure to tell people, hey, be careful. Like, be fucking careful because celebrities, in terms of what people do in this world, are often the most powerful people and they very frequently don't recognize it because you can just say people have control over themselves. Yes, but people can also submit their control to someone else. And I'm not saying if somebody physically like stampeded someone at AstroFest that that's not their, that's fully their fault. If you killed someone and you, or you're involved in that, yeah, you're to blame, but it's so it, it's important to also involve the artists in it because they are the reason that's happening. They're like full center of attention there. Um, and they have a control of the audience. So artists, it's a classic case of just be more fucking responsible because uh, y'all people are just irresponsible as fuck. And I think it's not a thing that I think Trev Scott's an awful person. I think he's just, I think he's just very irresponsible with the way he was handling his audience and the way he has in the past. Um, I, I fully believe though he feels bad. I mean, if you watch his clip on Instagram, he looks destroyed. Um, it's actually really hard to watch because you can just tell this man is destroyed by it. And obviously he is because he's not a fucking awful person. He's just unaware and he was just being immature. And that's fine. I, I mean, I'm the type of person that this is not popular on the internet. I believe, okay, I look at Travis Scott, see he's sorry. If he was just like, ah, oh, day two, let's go. Eight people died, who gives a fuck? Then I'd be totally done with him. But he actually sat there and he's like, okay, we need to be done. Um, I need to apologize. I need to make this right. And I, 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 I actually do believe any live performances from Travis Scott will be a lot different from here on out because this is a big fucking deal. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I feel like we, I mean, every single time there's some big deal thing, big situation the people find the wrong way to kind of go at it and they kind of they just do a shitty way of looking at it but in my opinion um, it's not that travis scott isn't to be blamed he's fully involved in it, but it's not you can't blame one person here it's just it's such a fucked up situation um and at the end of the day i i pray things are made somewhat right you know and i pray progress is made in life performances here because concert culture kind of fucking sucks so i pray people handle their concerts more like well i pray artists are more aware of the control they have over the audience
just be more fucking aware, you know? Um, recipes to everyone who passed away, prayers out to their families. This is such a fucked up situation. Um, and I, I do, I hope things are made better, you know, because it, it's just fucked up. Um, anyway, uh, I initially didn't want to make a video today, but I was like, hey, I probably got to talk about that because I'm sick as fuck and I probably shouldn't be yelling, but whatever. Um, see you guys next time. Uh, I kind of want to review Mina's album. I don't know if I give a fuck as much now. I, I might review it in a four-way review at some point. We'll see. This is a pretty dry weekend in terms of album releases. Great music, like songs, but next Friday Silk Sonic, so I'm hyped as fuck. And Taylor Swift. All right, see you guys next time. Uh, peace out and bye.